Good morning. Today's message is going to be a little bit different, but really it's it's a message all the same for anyone who wants to hear it, anyone who needs to hear it. It's probably on messages for everybody. If you don't believe the same way that I do, that's fine. Keep your comments to yourself. I don't need to hear how you believe. I know how I believe. What I'm expressing right now is for specific people who need to hear what I've got to say. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. You're on a different journey than me and the people who need to hear what I have to say. What I'm going to say today might strike a chord with some people, but that's okay. It's what it's supposed to do. That's how it's supposed to open your eyes and give some people some clarity. The message is, you haven't sold your soul to the devil. You can't sell your soul. It don't belong to you. It belongs to God. God gave you your soul. And the fact that you think you have sold your soul to the entity being the devil is only an illusion. And the fact that you keep making bad decisions or keep following that bad entity and doing bad things and making bad decisions in the name of that that entity or that deal you think you made you can't sell it as soon as you are ready to turn your life around god's waiting and that's the problem too many people are walking around here they think they have sold their soul to the devil and that they have no chance that's not true that's what i'm here to say at least one person out there is going to watch this video and they're going to turn around and say, God, please save me then. If I've not sold my soul to the devil, because you can't, you can keep following a bad entity and keep making bad decisions, but God is right there. Jesus is right there waiting on us to turn, our, turn around. That's the sacrifice Jesus made. That covers us um, as soon as you turn your life around and you understand that that Jesus already defeated the devil and sin and all we have to do is turn around turn turn from our wicked ways and, and we're human we're still gonna make mistakes but you know what I mean you know what I'm talking about they know what everybody knows what exactly what I'm talking about if you know um, just get your heart right with the Lord. Get your head right with the Lord. That's that's all it is. Because people are out here making bad decisions, living terrible lives and terrible conditions, thinking that they have no way out of this said deal they've made with whatever entity. That's not true. You are just continuing to make bad decisions in the name of that entity. God and Satan, that's us. I live more godly now than I ever have in my life because I choose to and because I chose a long time ago to turn my life around. I didn't sell myself to the devil. There are nothing like that. That's not what I'm saying. Seeing there's people out there, I know people right now who believe they've sold their soul to the devil and they believe that they can't get out and that's not true. Now, I might get a lot of backlash from this, but um, I've prayed about it and you know, I, God done told me, you know, I, you're safe. You're not going to get you know, I'm not going to be taken down for saying this. God wants me to tell you all, you haven't sold your soul to the devil because it never belonged to you to start with. That's his. Now, some people will live this life terrible and follow that entity all the way to their grave. And their soul will have to recycle, be purified, or whatever God does at that point. That's not for me. I don't know that much yet. What I do know is that God has put it on my heart 
this is not the first time this message has come to me. Last year, this message came to me. This message has been coming to me. It's just I've been scared to fear. So I put out a video that said, don't be fear. Don't fear. So that's me right now. I, I have no fear of old Big Red because he can't touch me. I belong to God and Jesus. And by saying what I'm saying, I'm just telling you all that you have the exact same power to turn your life around as I have. And all I really want to do is connect with that one person. That one person that knows who they are. They know who they are. They, there's one specific person that I'm talking to. And she will get this message. And she knows who she is too. When she sees this, she'll know I'm talking to her. God's waiting on you to turn it around, honey. That's all it is. You have just been following the wrong thing. Making the wrong decisions in the name of of what you think's in control. Honey, God's always had you. You just choose to make the wrong decisions. Um, because you, you know, I guess you feel that that's, that's more comfortable. You know, they like, you know, they say you're more comfortable with the devil you know. You know, I, I get that. I get that. But honestly, your soul is so much more beautiful than you even know and you continue to darken it and all the people that love you want is for you to turn around and see the light and the love that shine all around you we love you and we want you to turn it around because you can't you can choose you can choose to live that way and and be that dark but we want you back. We want you to come back to us. And there are two little baby boys who would love to see your light and see your soul shine again. And getting ready to be another little one, you know. And, and I think that everybody understands There's a beautiful young woman who needs your light and your love. And, you know, I'm getting ready to change my plans because I understand the severity of the situation. And um, I'm working on things too. But my message is to the person, any person, who thinks that you don't have a say so in your life now because of some deal that you've made that's not true you can continue to follow that deal and make those bad decisions but you can turn it around i ain't saying shit changes instantly either it don't i <laughs> i've been doing this for three years at hardcore every day you know working hard on being a better spiritual person i'm um, getting closer to god um making my relationship with God better so that I can, you know, help people out of the same dark messes that I'm, I was in and that the person I'm talking to is still stuck in. I just want her and, and everybody that feels this message and understands it um, to understand that I really feel like God's telling me to tell y'all, you, everyone out there that listens to this and hears that you didn't sell your soul you can't sell your soul so if you don't you did this is not for but you maybe you know somebody like me i know people who think they're sold out forever and that's not true it's just not true god's waiting for you to turn around your soul belongs to him the devil that's what he does he tricks he's tricked you into doing his bidding every day. And as soon as you stop doing his bidding every day and turn to God, you'll be protected. You won't have to... It, it, you really do have to pray and meditate. And, and But things will start turning around, but you have to stop making the bad decisions. And, you know, that is... Any kind of drugs and alcohol has to be got, gone away with. 
I'm not saying that you're never going to be able to drink a drink or smoke a joint or, or why even take a pill if you want to once in a while. But if you can't control your buzz and you let your buzz control you, then you don't need it. But, you know, there are people, lawyers, judges, people all the time, people who go, you know, home and they'll binge. They'll, they'll binge, never, not touch another drug for two, three years, um, not touch a drink for, you know, three years. There are people who drink a drink every single night of their life to go to sleep or to relax. Doctors, lawyers, they have to, after, you know, cops, it's a way to, to, to sit down and, and relax after such stressful work days um, because they're dealing with these people who think they've sold their soul to the devil. Think about it. Um, yeah. Cops, lawyers, um, judges, they deal with what the, the worst of society. And that's the devil's playground right there. And um, anyway, I'm just letting y'all know that God's waiting. And that's the fact. And if you don't think I'm serious about what I'm saying to you, I live with my Bible. I, I read my Bible. I would love to express that to you all, but a lot of people would call that hypocritical because I don't go to church and I say cuss words and I'm not perfect. But no, God knows we're not perfect. We weren't born to be perfect. I was not born to be a perfect being. Neither were you. Neither was none of us. We were all born to explore, expand, grow, learn from this life experience. And, and learn, what I mean by learn is learn the life lessons. And part of your life lessons, our life lessons, is to learn that we're in control, we get to choose, and we get to create our existence. Um, if you continue to create bad circumstances, you're going to live in bad circumstances. But you can turn it around and start making better decisions. And you'll have God's help and guidance if you do that. You all have a great day. This is... That there's the message, okay? Have a great day.